YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are focusing on this eye look right here. Um, I created this eye look using the brand new Be Perfect Cosmetics Stacey Marie Collaboration Carnival Palette. That was a mouthful. If you have not seen this blow up all over social media, you must have been living under a rock because this has been the most talked about palette like in Belfast that I know of anyway. And I'm just so like, I am... Um, like the colors are just unbelievable in here. So pretty much this is a brand new palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics and they did a collaboration with a makeup artist that is based in the UK which is called Stacey Marie. And Stacey Marie is such an amazing, amazing makeup artist. I have looked up to her for I don't know how long. She is so, so talented and the makeup looks that she comes up with I would have never even thought of it trying to do before. She's not afraid to try new things. She's literally the queen of colour when it comes to makeup basically. So they have teamed up and collabed and created a palette together. And pretty much in the back of it, um, it says that you get 17 vibrant matte shades, you get 7 high pigmented shimmers and you also get 2 highlighters slash shimmers. So the highlights can be used as shimmers as well. And I pretty much just went with the flow throughout this video and created this makeup look and then I give you guys my final verdict at the end whether I think that the palette is worth it or not. So if you guys want to see how to create this makeup look using the new Be Perfect Cosmetics Stacey Marie Carnival palette then just keep on watching. Okay, hey, so I'm going to firstly start off by priming my eyes. So I'm going to use the P. Louise base in the shade Rumour 2. I'm going to take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to use like a little Avani brush. And this is more of a sort of fluffier type of flat brush. I prefer using these to apply my eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on that. And then... I'm going to start to pat this all over the lid space. So I'm going to take Envy on a Morphe M514 brush. This is just a small tapered blender. And I'm just going to start to pack this through the crease area. Oh my god. Unreal. So I do really enjoy working with my darkest colours firstly now. A lot of people always ask me why I do my darkest colours first. I just think that it's better to do this first um, because I think when you go in with your transition your transitional shade first and then go in with your deeper shades, the transition shade sort of starts to mute your darker colour. So it's best to go in with your darkest one first. I was so like, oh my god, no, I don't want to do this. Like when I first ever started doing this particular look. But it does get a lot easier. So if you just keep practicing, then you will start to um You'll start to see a difference in your like in your makeup looks. So already I'm like I am obsessed with this colour and I have not even barely like touched into it. I'm literally just doing one wee dab at a time and then I'm starting to blend it through the eye area. So I'm so obsessed with this colour and it's coming out exactly how it looks on the in the pan as it is on my eyes. Do you know sometimes when you look at certain colours and they come out completely differently? This is not one of those shades so i'm just going to start blending in circular motions and then as i get to the outer corner i'm just going to start to use like window whipper motions to blend that out so you want to make sure that you're bringing this shadow quite far up and i have a lot of room around this area of my eye here so i like to make sure that i get the like the, the darkest shade around this sort of area if you're not comfortable with using the same brush to blend like the edges out to have that more so blown out effect, pick up a clean brush and then just sort of buff around your edges. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is the mint shade. So I have seen a lot of people talking about this shade in particular and saying that it is the least pigmented shade out of the whole entire um, palette. <clears throat> pardon me um the only thing is i want to sort of put a disclaimer out there and i want to give you a bit of knowledge to inform you about the mint shade um 
it is so hard to make pastel colors like it's so so hard pastel colors are a lot more muted than the more bright intense colors or the darker colors they're so so hard to make and they are a buildable shadow so pretty much they're not going to come out like click of a finger opaque straight away on your eyes you need to sort of gradually take your time to build the color up so it didn't really come up as pigmented on my arm but I wasn't mad at that because at the end of the day like I said it is a pastel color so you just have to really take your time to build it up so I am going to begin in now with the mint shade and I'm just going to be taking it on a let me see just a wee care daily brush this is from the phoenix collection so this is just a, your usual blender type of brush so i'm just going to pick a little bit of mint up and then i'm going to start to buff at the edges of my envy shade so let's get started i have picked the palette down because like i said it is quite a heavy palette my hand was getting dead um, the palette will be dead on if you were sitting like on your vanity and have it held up like this you know like up against like something a wall or whatever but it is very very hard to hold because it is so big so I've just switched to a smaller mirror so I'm going to take the mint shade on that Kira Daily brush and I'm going to go around the edges of the Envy shade and I'm just going really really lightly because I like how this is a plan because it looks like the Envy shade is blended out into a lighter colour which I really really like so I'm just going to do this sort of blending method, just really, really taking my time. And then I might go in with a lighter sort of shade. I might go in with maybe King, which is a yellow shade, and blend that around the edges. So just blending, blending, blending. And I like this to be quite blown out at the outer corner. But I'm just really taking my time because I don't want it to be super, super harsh here. So you just need to be really, really careful. I'm going to go back in with the first brush that I use, the M514, and go back into Envy. And I'm just going to start to deepen up this crease a little bit further. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, guys. I'm just going with the flow here, and I'm just really hoping for the best. Hoping that this look turns out somewhat way semi-decent, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I am going to be adding maybe a couple of different colours, maybe blues and stuff, to further deepen up the crease. But... I'm just going to try and use as much as I possibly can to give my final verdict and let you know exactly what my thoughts are on this palette. But so far, I am like so, 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 so impressed with the pigmentation, the blendability, the whole formula of the shades that I have already used in my eyes feel absolutely amazing. I'm not going to be going ahead and doing like my full face or anything because this video will probably already be dragging on because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, but I am going to be putting to the test the uh, highlighters afterwards. There's two highlighters which are Saint and Sinner. So I'm going to put those to the test and see how well they sort of blend out and stuff like on the skin. Go in with the same Care Daily brush. I have a quite fair amount of these. And I'm going to go into... Let me see. I'll go into the shade King, which is a bright yellow shade. And I'll go sort of into my brow area with this oh this is super bright really really pigmented I don't know if it's picking up as much on camera as what it is in person but I've barely dipped into that shade and it is like whew, super super bright and pigmented like oh. I'm gonna go back into mint and I'm just going to further blend out the edges because I don't want that yellow to overpower my green and I don't want it to look like it's just sitting there on the skin so I'll always go back and forth and make sure that all the colours are nice and blended together so I'm going to go into the Morphe M330 I'm going to use the M330 brush should I say um, and I'm going to dip into the shade Mood from the palette, which is just a really dark uh, royal blue shade. This one does have a little bit more fallout compared to the rest. Um, I don't know why, but when I opened up my palette when it only arrived, there was sort of specks of that shade mixed in with different, like, some of the different colours. I'm not mad at it. It's easy blown away. So I'm going to start at my outer corner. And then I'm going to bring it in towards the inner corner this is very similar to a look that I have done before 
I can remember um, using the um, the Morphe 35B palette, but I can already tell that the formula and the pigmentation of this palette is so, so different compared to that one. So I'm just blending this in. I'm just going around in circular motions to further diffuse the product out. Like I can't cope with how amazing these shades are blending together. So this is the shade that I've been super fucking excited to use, guys. I, oh, I'm so excited to use this shade. So I'm gonna take. Let me see what brush. I'll take maybe this one firstly. This is just another Ovoni brush. I don't know if I want to go into recharge and then go into breezy, but I might just pick you yeah, know what? Breezy all over the lid, so breezy's just an unreal blue shade. Oh my holy moly mother of Jesus. This is next level shit, guys. Oh my mother. Basically what I'm doing with this shade is I'm just patting it on and then sort of blending it and I want to take this right into the inner corner as well but also up on the lid as well. I don't really know what I'm going for but I am going to soften everything out. You're probably going like what are you doing right now? I'm basically just having a play but I am going to be softening like all the edges and stuff out so don't be panicking. If you're looking at me and you're going, look at the state of her. That one's actually dirty. So I'm just going to take another small packer brush. This is a smoky shader brush from Zoya Fine. I'm going to take a little bit of recharge. This is another shade I really wanted to try. Oh my god. I don't really know what I'm doing. Like I've said a hundred thousand times. But... I'm just loving my life playing with this palette right now. I'm gonna put a little bit more definition through the outer corner of the eye with a little bit of black. That's the only thing I wish that this palette had was a really nice black because I know seeing these shadows are so intense that if Stacey and Breton had to bring a black out, it would have been like next level shit. But I'm not really mad at that because there's blacks and 100 million different trillion palettes so I'm not really mad um but it's very hard to get a really high pigmented like colorful palette which I'm all for so for black I'm gonna go in with the black from well that's just a singular singular pan this is the sample beauty matte black shade and the style and the shade sample beauty's black matte eyeshadow in the shade Yin. Oh my god, I almost got that out. And I'm just taking it on a Care Daily Buddha brush. And I'm just going to pack this at the outer corner of the eye. Guys, if you're looking for a really good black, I highly recommend this one. This is like my third black from them. Like I just, I stock them up all the time. It's so good. Pretty much what I'm doing with this is I'm just packing on a little bit more definition towards the outer corner of the eye. So you're best to pack it on and then sort of like wiggle it about while you're packing it so it's sort of blatant for you. And then I'm just going to take it slightly through the crease but not too much because I still want to have all that like nice blue and you know all the shades that would place down coming through. So I'm just going to take a clean brush and then I will further go in the edges. So for eyeliner, I'm taking my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner and I'm just going to start going over the lash line and I'm just starting in the inner corner and slightly dragging it towards the outer, cor the outer corner. Sorry, I almost got that out there. So guys, just went ahead and applied on some lashes. So the lashes that I am wearing are my AK Pro Cosmetics Anya Stay Lashes. They are currently sold out at the minute, but I will leave a link down in the description box below to the new AK Pro Cosmetics Instagram account. 
so you guys can go ahead and follow me on there because the other one could have like stated in a few videos um and like all information updates when the sales and stuff will be back in um will obviously be on that account so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go and do the other eye off camera and then i'm going to apply like foundation and stuff and then we'll come back we'll do the under eyes and then we'll go ahead and go in with the highlighters and stuff as well and we'll test those out so i'll be right back so other eyes all done foundations on everything set we're going to start with the under eyes so i'm going to go in with my collection lasting black gel liner and i'm just going to take that on a little um fine liner brush from Uvone, and i'm going to just take this in the waterline and i'm going to take it under the lower lash line also the next shade i'm going to go in with is i'm going to go in with the sky shade from the stacy marie palette which is a beautiful like it's almost like an ocean blue shade i'm going to switch the lower lash line up slightly so I'm just taking it on a bullet brush from the Cure Daily Phoenix collection. I'm going to start to blend this out under the lower lash line. Just going back and forth using window wiper motion. Shade I'm going to take is Envy, which is the forest green shade again. And I'm going to take it on a Morphe M514 brush again. And I'm just going to start to blend this out under the lower lash line. I'm just taking it slightly higher. From where we had placed the sky shade down and then afterwards i want a little bit of the yellow to pick through just so that the whole look is like cohesive i'm just going to take it a little bit under but be careful when you're taking yellow around sort of this area of the eye it's different if it's right up under the lower lash line but if you're taking it a slightly bit lower you need to be a little bit more careful because if you apply too much or if you apply it in certain areas, it's going to look like you have a black eye. So you just want to be really, really careful. And I'm barely touching the skin. I just want a slight bit of the yellow to peek through. Not too much, but just enough to know that it's actually there. I don't know if it's picking up on camera much, but I can see it. And I'm happy enough with how it's starting to look. And then I'll just sort of go in with a little bit more. And then that's us because I don't want it to look like a black eye, like I said. Next shade I'm going to go in with is the Sample Beauty um, Yin. So the same matte black shade. I've just put it back in this little container so I can bring it back to work with me tomorrow and put it in the Z palette again. I'm just going to take a smudger brush from the Phoenix Collection by Kira Daily and I'm going back into that black shade. And I'm going to put a little bit of definition back in underneath this lower lash line to take a flat brush this is the Luxe smoky shader i'm going to take breezy and i'm going to pop that at the inner corner i'm also going to take it slightly in to the inner corner but i've also mixed a little bit of recharge as well i've just started to do my little inner corner flick using the next final liner Pretty much all you want to do is just follow your tear duct and then you're just going to sharpen up your inner corner. So this is the part that I am literally most excited about. So this is the highlighter part. So there is two shades which are called Saint and Sinner. I really want to try Sinner out because I am wearing a little bit of time while I have a little bit left over from the weekend and um saint or sorry center would probably be like my sort of shade at the minute because i am a little bit on the tanner shade okay so i'm gonna look for a brush let's see now so i like to use smaller brushes when it comes to my highlight anyway as you guys know um i haven't spritzed my face with no fix plus no nothing so we're gonna really put this to the test and see how it is so taking a little bit up on a vony brush little bit of fallout but it's okay oh my god I love how it looks like skin that is what I look for in a highlighter I love looking for highlighters that have 
that they're so creamy they feel they feel creamy going onto the skin and i felt super super creamy earlier when i touched them with my fingers i love highlighters like that because i know that regardless if you spritz your face or not with fix plus it's going to go on like an absolute dream it's going to go on super buttery super opaque and it's just going to be absolutely stunning on the skin i do not like highlighters that i can feel that they are really really powdery so i know anyway that these like these are amazing like look at that absolutely flipping stunning like can you even so i'm just highlighting around the areas that i would usually highlight keep it bow and the chin i'm actually going to take a bigger brush I'm going to take a silk finish brush by Zoeva and I'm going to take a little bit of the center and I'm just going to apply this all over my body just so that I know that whenever I take photos, videos, anything like that if I'm in like in a club or do you know it's going to look so glowy like look at that oh my god okay guys so I'm finished the whole entire makeup look. Pretty much I just went ahead and applied a slight bit of contour and bronzer. Um, and a little bit of blush and then I took a little leaf out of um, Stacey's book and just highlighted it all over my lips She's in the center shade. She has been doing this like on a lot of her clients or like models or whatever it may be and I just am so obsessed with it. So I'm going to give you guys my final verdict tonight on the whole entire palette and like just break down what I liked, what I didn't like and things like that. So let's get started. I love the consistency of the palette or of the shadows when you swatch them. I think that they feel super, super creamy. Um, they feel so buttery. They blended amazingly with your fingers. I sort of had a wee play about my arm earlier and like blended them out and stuff. You could blend these out with your fingers if you really wanted to, like the shimmer shades all over the lid. You don't necessarily need to use a brush for certain shades. Um, especially the shimmer shades. It's so hard for shimmer shades not to go patchy and chunky all over the eyes. I find that sometimes I need to actually use Fix Plus when it comes to blending shimmers on the eyes. These ones don't need it. They're super buttery. You can even feel the creaminess of them on your fingers, like I had said. I love the highlighter. I just look like I love the highlighters. I just look like I'm super glowy and it looks like a natural radiant glow absolutely obsessed with it guys like 10 out of 10 the weight of the palette the, the fact that you have a large mirror in it you can bring this away traveling with you and you wouldn't need another palette like i'm sold absolutely obsessed with it another thing i would like to add about the palette is i love the fact on the back of it you can see the range of colors and the shimmers before actually like like actually purchasing the actual palette I don't think I've ever seen a brand before ever doing something like this so that you can actually look at the like look at the shades at the back of the palette before actually purchasing it and to be quite honest all the shades on the back here look identical to what they actually do and say it off the palette which isn't like a good thing so I think do I think you need this in my opinion yes um if you are someone who is a lover of color and you are somebody who are, is a makeup artist as well and you want to try and experiment a little bit more with color i think that it's an essential to have in your kit basically you get in the back of it it says um you get 17 vibrant matte shades you get seven high pigment shimmers and you get two eyes or two highlighters and you can use the highlighters as shimmers all over the eyes as well if you really wanted to so you're getting 17 18 18 22 basically 26 shades in this palette and I think I paid £40 for it. I'm not too sure how much I paid for this palette guys but it's worth every single penny of it. So I do think that it's worth it and I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on it before it actually sold out. So if you're from Belfast you will be able to purchase this, uh, this palette from BTY as far as I know now and also make a poster but I know that there's going to be other chemists and stuff selling them very very soon. Um, if you're not from the like from Belfast, if you're not from the UK and you do like this palette and you want to purchase it yourself, I will leave a link in the description box below to the Be Perfect Cosmetics website so that you
you can go and purchase it on there so yeah guys i'm so happy with how this look turned out i hope that you guys have enjoyed it yourselves i hope that you have learned a thing or two today in this tutorial and i hope that if you get this palette or if you have it that i sort of helped you in a wee in some sort of way play with that <laughs> um so yeah if you have liked it please give it a big massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave click the notification bell in the corner and you will get notified every single time i upload a video i will leave all my other social medias listed down in the description box below so you can go and follow me on there if you aren't already following me and once again i will leave a link to the be perfect cosmetics website in the description below so you can go and purchase your carnival palette as well so yeah guys thank you so much again for watching i love you all so much and i will see you all in my next one